it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. If you watched last week's video, you would have seen me talk about a math resource that I was sharing from a critical thinking company. I love that company. And I was sharing a math curriculum for you all that was designed for the three years of middle school, but I definitely feel like it's something that could be used in high school as well. It's open and go. It's all workbook based. There's no like videos or DVDs to watch. Um, it is designed by a 30 year veteran math teacher and it's extremely affordable. So if you haven't seen that video yet, definitely check it out. I'll link it for you in the description box. But in that video, I talked about this video, which is kind of a follow up, a little bit of a piggyback to that video. And one thing that critical thinking company does so, so well, other than offering a huge variety of curriculum in all different subjects, not even just the basic ones, but like logic and things like that, analogies, all those great supplementary uh, topics. They are so good at offering entire grade level curriculum, like I shared last week, but then also offering supplementary curriculum, whether it be something like logic or a supplement to an entire subject. So like math in that, in this case, last week was an entire math curriculum. And this week I'm sharing some supplements to that math curriculum or any other math curriculum that you might be using to really hone in and focus on certain topics, if that makes sense. So I gave a little sneak peek of these books in that video last week, but I am going to be sharing a little bit more in depth about these workbooks in today's video. In this video, specifically, we're talking about fractions and uh, fractions, decimals, and percent. So these are the books that you would want to use if your child is maybe already using a math curriculum, whether it's from Critical Thinking Company or not, and maybe they're struggling with fractions. Maybe they're struggling with decimals and percentages. And if that's the case, these two books, would be perfect for them. Now, obviously they do say they're designed for grades two through four and grades four through six. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt, if you will. But I feel like that if your child is struggling with, fra with fractions, I don't care if they're in second grade or sixth grade, these are gonna be really great options for you to really help make sure they understand fractions. I've got some notes typed up just so I make sure I don't forget whatever I wanted to say. Um, but this first book, Understanding Fractions, is designed for uh, grades two through four. And this was the one that you would use either on its own or if you plan to use this book, which is Understanding Fractions, Percents, and Decimals. If you're planning to use them both, you would use this one first because this one's really gonna hone in on what fractions are, trying to get that concept you know, ingrained in your child's mind and then elaborating on that with addition and subtraction of fractions. It is fairly short. Obviously it's not designed to be a full curriculum. So it's either to be, um, you know, helpful to somebody who's struggling with fractions or maybe even summertime, a little bit of uh, practice to keep your child from forgetting things they learned in the, in the year. So this one is 64 pages, very thin, but very thorough. One thing I really love are the think about it sections, which are helpful little blurbs of information to further explain the answers. And I also like the check yourself riddles at the end um, of each of the little activities to encourage kids to complete the problems. And that way they can self check their answers because if the answer to the riddle makes no sense, then they're gonna realize they've made a mistake somewhere. The one thing I really like about these in particular, there are um, fraction cutouts that I would highly recommend copying and maybe even laminating to make sure they don't get all like torn and bent, but you pull them out and it's really gonna help your child, especially if you have a visual learner or a kinesthetic learner, they're gonna be using their hands to manipulate these different little fraction wheels. And that's really gonna help to solidify, again, that concept of a fraction and part to whole. So I really like that this book has those in the back, there is something similar in the other book I'm going to show you. So uh, I think that's a really great addition to this workbook. One thing I want to point out about both books is there is a review at the end of each section. And then there's also a review at the end, which is nice because just like um, the full math curriculum workbooks I shared last week, it helps you to give reviews throughout the book to make sure your child is understanding each section, each new topic of information. But then it's also nice to test them at the end to make sure cumulatively, you know, do they remember everything they learned in the book? Is there anything you need to go back and touch up on? So I really appreciate that for those aspects. And also it gives you an extra opportunity to grade because you're not only having a final grade at the end, you're also having uh, several grades throughout with those reviews. So once you know and they've completed that book, then you know they have pretty much grasped the full concept of fractions and they're ready to move on to fractions, percents, and decimals. This book is a little bit longer. It's 72 pages, but still not terribly overwhelming. Definitely something you can do 
uh, in addition to another math curriculum that you might be doing at the same time that would be perfectly fine You're basically going to be building on those addition and subtraction skills they learned in the first book by adding multiplication division converting fractions to decimals and then also percentages so like the other book had the uh, fraction wheels this book actually has let me find it fraction bar cutouts so again you've got this manipulative that you can cut out um, and it even says there is a PDF if you want to print it on heavier paper and just keep this one in the back print it on colored paper and make it really fun for your student but I like that they add those little things at the end to um, to really help with that so those you do have at the end of this book as well as well as the answer key now one thing I think is important about this book and I mentioned earlier that this one is designed to be done after the understanding fractions book um, but whether you have completed that book or not, there is a fractions review at the beginning of this book to make sure that your child really understands fractions before they move on. I really appreciate that because they don't want to assume that, you know, just because your child has completed the book that everything's stuck. Um, so this is a really nice way to make sure that they know what they need to know before you move on to this book. And it's set up the same as the Understanding Fractions book. There are teaching notes, self-checking riddles for activities. So I feel like these are both really great options. Again, don't get too caught up on the grades. I mean, obviously they're a, a nice guide to have. But if your child is having trouble with fractions, decimals, and percents, or maybe the math curriculum they're using is just not teaching it in a way that they're understanding, I would highly recommend you guys check these two books out. They are very affordable. Um, as with everything I've ever seen from Critical Thinking Company, they're very affordable. And I know you guys will love them. So I will link those for you in the description box. I will also link the Critical Thinking Company website. Like I said, it can be really hard. You get on there and you see how much stuff they have and it all looks amazing and it can be really hard to choose. But you can sort by subject, you can search by grade level. I highly recommend their um, mind benders workbook series for logic. We really have enjoyed that. We also have really enjoyed their um, US History Detective. Yeah, book one and book two. She used those in high school. She really enjoyed those. Um, so just get on there, play around. I know you'll find tons of things that you would wanna add to your homeschool either as a full curriculum or a supplement. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to also check out my homeschooling playlist. Every homeschooling video I've made in the past is in that playlist. There are tons of them, like around 250 or so. So you're definitely gonna find other videos there that will be helpful. And uh, if you haven't checked out last week's video about the full math curriculum from Critical Thinking Company, I highly recommend you do that as well. And I'll see you in the next video, bye.